Okay, let me get set up here. First, uh, it's a lime. Oh, cut this lime here. Hey, hey, stop making noise. It's a Mickey Mouse bottle opener. That'll come into play later. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna. I'm gonna put this on my lap because it's gonna shake the camera, isn't it? <sighs> Cutting the lime because uh, I'm gonna. I'll show you in a little while. Hold on. Anyway. Not cutting a lime, I'm making slice, lime slice. Ah, um, this is going to be something I didn't really want to do this, but I figured. Well, I saw I'm obligated. Why? Well, because one of my radio children asked me, "What did I think of it? Did I like it?" And I'm going like, <sighs> like. I started writing back and just put the like in question in, in, in quotes. But then again, you know, we have this relationship because you know he uses words, and I like to be precise with words. So there you go. Is that word like again? Anyway, uh, well, let me make this slice a little bit bigger. Um, so, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do a film review. Now, cutting because, see this? I cut myself earlier with another day. I, was, I, had, a, I had a new peeler because I was making some breakfast. And then I, I got real, like, real turmeric root. And, I, and then they're small, you know, and I was cutting it with the thing, the new thing, and it, and it cut me. It starts bleeding. I got to wrap this thing up again. Anyway, and you know, when I get cut like that, these little cuts, sometimes cuts just appear on my body. And I go to my spiritual advisor and I said, David, man, I keep on getting cut. He said, ah, it's just so goon giving you kisses. I go like, he say, be, he be saying stuff like that. It don't help me not, you know, where the blood still be flowing, you know? Yeah, because I'm a child of a goon. Okay, so I got a little slice of lime here. Put this here. Keep my, and I'm bleeding head stuff from earlier. Anyway, I know I'm rambling, but it's going to be a while. We, we, we got time here. We're on my YouTube channel. This is like, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about radio. So the first thing I did, not the first thing, the first thing I did in radio was a poet in residence for W. Uh, PRB in Princeton at the Saturday Soul with JB show. And um, let me move this over here. Uh, but when I, when I, then I got to my undergraduate, well, undergraduate college I got. I graduated from versus the ones that got kicked out of <laughs> much earlier, right? Before I went to the anyway, um, so what? So so anyway, when I got to, to um, well, I ended up at WBAI in New York, and one of the first things I did was I was film reading, doing film reviews, right? And uh, get my little Guinness. Yeah, I can't. I had to stop. Oh, man, I'm a. I'm really. A, I'm really a red wino. I really like primitivos, but I had to sort of stop. I had to sort of slow down or something. Well, I, 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 I'm just going to stop because I think the sulfites affected me. So, what can I say, man? Life is rough, and then you do something about it. Um. Anyway, so I take a little bit of lime. Let me squeeze, squeeze lime into a proper beer glass, right? Squeeze some wine in. Wine, I mean uh, lime. Sick wine. Um, leave that right there and put that there. Um, and I'm gonna, and I learned this because uh, I like dark beers and I like uh, I learned from uh, when I was in Mexico, <laughs> I'm drinking oscuda, you know, you know dark beers, and uh, they put a little lime in there, and you know you're good to go. So let me pour this here. And I like I particularly like Guinness. I like I like everything dark. And dark, you on my side, you know that kind of thing. So the way I do Guinness. And I like half and half too. I let the foam go all the way up. Why? Because I'm just that way. I like that when the foam's all the way. Somehow I think there's some sort of reaction. I think it's it's more whatever it is, right? Okay, so let me leave this right here. Anyway, so I, I was a film. I was I did the film, but I did my film reviews differently. I would wait till the film comes out, and then I actually go and pay and go sit with an audience and like that. Much, of course, much later on when I wasn't doing film reviews, the film reviewer for the station, no, the official one is a lot, uh, was Paul Wonder. We used to, that's, it's, I think before, before I became arts director, it was, I was sort of in charge of him. But before, even before that, uh, then I, I would, I keep on going, I like, I like to see this head here. Taste it just a second. I love that, it's good. Uh, um, we would, you know, we we'd go uh, see films, you know, because he had he had to review the film. So that way you go ahead of time. Sometimes you see a film like six months before it come out. What was nice about it, though, 
is that there wouldn't be no forward publicity. You don't know nothing about it. You don't know anything about this film. So you go in there, you didn't have any prejudices, you know, anything like that. So it was it was a great situation for me. So for years, I was for five, for at least for five years, I was arch, no, four years of arch director. For a long time, I would, I would, uh, that's how I'd see films. And, and because I was arch director, I would go to Broadway, sh- and I had a bunch of stuff, you know. It was a cushy job. People want to know why I left. <laughs> because I'm an audio dropper. That's why I left. But they wouldn't understand that because it was such a great job. Anyway, um, sorry. Hmm. Okay, that's the way. That's good. So that so 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 I did that for well. Then I let. It doesn't matter. So I'm then I'm now I ran around the world. Blah blah blah. And now I just do whatever I do. But I still I I love film. Like I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a cinef, cinephile a cinephile addict or whatever it is. Um. And so people who know like like when one of my radio children here you know asked me a question. They know that I know film, right? Okay. Plus, I guess I will full disclosure. Also, my undergraduate degree, um, part of it is film studies. But that's, I'm just giving you the bona fides. I don't why. I'm, I'm, I'm going to press you. I'll do I. Um, so, so when they asked me, you know, about the Batman, at first I just give fluff off thing because I don't want to talk to you about stuff, you know? Because with Steve... I gotta ask him, answer him completely. Oh, by the way, shout out to uh, Mark Anthony. That's Mark with a C. Um, uh, I do that every year. Uh, here we go. So, so now they want me to um, talk about the Batman. All right now, I went and saw the Batman um, uh, at the Commodore Theater. I took at the Commodore Theater, Theater in Portsmouth, Virginia. It's a dinner a supper club. Di- oh, it's a it's a it's, a, it's an unusual theater. Uh, because it's very old, it's uh, classes back there when when we were in Virginia when they were really racist. You couldn't even get into the theater. I guess you black people sat in the back, the balcony or something like that. You know that kind of that kind of thing. So it's very old, and they, this is they, this is a napkin from it, and this is their sort of logo. See, so coming, that's their logo, and it's, it's it's a beautiful theater. I like going there, you know. So it doesn't matter. I think the food ain't that great to me. I don't I don't really like the food. I think I don't really like the food. Um, but when you go there, like when you pay by cash, and I pay by cash for a purpose, you know, not the card thing. Um, like say for instance, well, that's an instance. It's um, it's for a senior citizen that would be me. You know, it costs like you know uh, eight dollars, and so when I, I treat my sister, so she's also a senior citizen, so it costs me basically sixteen dollars. But the change that gives me uh, cash change, like I, they give you two dollar bills. Ain't that something? They give you two dollar bills. And 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 ca- and change, you know, and then two dollar bill. Just for those people don't 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 know, I didn't know actually. Is uh, I guess this is Thomas Jefferson is on the two dollar bill. I, I was thinking about what Disney. I said, wait a second. I said, I know something about this. Is, this I thought it was Susan B. Anthony. No, 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 that's the that's the coin. That's the dollar coin or whatever it is. Right. Mm. Anyway, I think we'll get rid of this. I don't want this to get damaged. So they give you the two dollar bill change like that. And on the back, like this, is supposed to be the Declaration of Independence signing. But I had thought that they hadn't made two dollar bills, and the um, and I, I in the back they had I think it was the first Continental Congress. I could have sworn there used to be a black guy somewhere in here, but this is the Declaration of Independence, so it wouldn't be the thing, you know. So something. So I don't, I don't know. Anyway, so I collect these. Then no, collect every once in a while. I go to the when I'm down here in Virginia, A, Portsmouth, and I go there because my sister likes to go there. Then I get changed. I get the two dollar bill. I like it like that. Okay, stolen enough. Let's talk about the Batman. Okay, what? Mm. Just a second. They talk loud. Let me close this door. Okay. <laughs> That's not gonna help because my sister. Man, she talked. A loud voice. You know how black people love. Be loud. Be loud. So I, I rather, well, I'm going to talk about the Batman, but I want to talk about, it, it, it actually, you know, just uh, the current state of, um, I say, uh, film or not film, is that the culture, whatever it is, because uh, with stuff like that, like wars going on, well, I don't know if this is like, okay, it's war because people are dying, but, you know, let me leave the racial things out of it. Let me just say this. You know, I I hear a lot of black folks now. I shouldn't say that. Some black folks, especially in media, who think they got some thing. They're talking about, oh, yeah, the Russians are doing this to to, to Ukraine and blah, 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 blah. 
I'm going like, y'all should, you know, y'all should get a grip. And we got to stand with Russia, you know, black people. We got to stand with Russia. I'm like, what's the matter with you people? You must be out of your minds. You know what I mean? This, it, look, do some research because I hate the way they say it. It's like, it's like they're correct and Putin is wrong or whatever have it. Hey, that's, it's bogus. Okay. Just let them know it's bogus. Okay. Back to the point. Here we go. Oh, uh, hmm. Ah, um, so I look at these things, and when I look at it, especially things like that, the, the people, these so-called journalists, they just they got degrees, they teach classes, that whatever it is, they know, they don't get out of their classrooms, right? They don't travel, you know, they don't know, and even if you know somebody here, you know, they only know what they know. So it's kind of weird to me trying to defend uh, the whole Ukraine, the whole Russian thing against Ukraine, and the d d d d. Y'all don't know, man. Just just go back to your, your classrooms or whatever, whatever you go to and just stay away from this, right? But you can look, even if you're away from it, you can look at you can look at from a distance and you can see the propaganda that's going on. I mentioned this before. For instance, I just finished reading uh, uh, a Jack Reacher book. Not just finished, a while. And then, and, and because I read the, the uh, I, I, I reached, uh, I'm a Jack Reacher fan. I've been reading it books for years right um and so when the series came out nah, uh i wasn't really i said okay let me let me check it out because i'm here in america and i can have access to um whatever prime or whatever wherever it came on the, the streaming service it came on so i watched the whole series to at least there was eight episodes seven episodes and when season two is coming up right and what i noticed in the books right uh near the, at least the two books near near the end they started mentioning ukraine and they started mentioning uh, russia and they started mentioned Nazis, all this stuff is in, I'm going like, as I'm reading, and these books like two, two years old, or maybe one kind of 2019, one 2020, because he writes a book every year, you know, Lee Child, the, the author. And I've noticed that this is how things get into popular culture. Something happens and then they imitate it and they start putting the stuff in their writings or whatever it is, TV series, movies, you know, um, uh, books, whatever it is, they they start doing that stuff, and so 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 you you sort of can't get away from it. So you you see the newspaper, you know who the current enemy is, then 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 you 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 hear it in the radio, where you hear it someplace else, and then of course you pick a book, you read a, a popular book, and all of a sudden it's, it's, it, this thing is you know you were choosing sides. It's very interesting how the how the um, social dynamic works in this in this in the Western country uh, in America, to put it that way. Hmm. And I always say, like, black people, you all got some other problems. Right? You just stay away from them peoples, okay? You know, and and and, and if you and, and here's a funny thing, right now, you know, you got people talking about the, the Africans and blah blah blah. You know, like, look, this is NATO. You all need to get Africa. You need to get NATO out of Africa first. They, they you know, and NATO is part of the Africa uh, African Union somehow. They have a relationship. They also in 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 South America. They're in, um, uh, I think, Colombia. Which is ne ne next to next to Colombia, and somehow they're trying to get to Venezuela. But then, with their NATO has a presence in Colombia, and you know, they with this whole oil thing, they're gonna. Tr I guess they're gonna try to take over Venezuela. I mean, that was one of the. This is one of the things on the thing. It's crazy, but we're not talking about that stuff. We're talking about the popular things. The reason why I bring up all that stuff, this long thing, and and to come to this one, this one point, <laughs> the Batman. And it's interesting because uh, now that you have a uh, woke, woke, uh, woke stuff, you know, so the casting, the normally the casting, the very, very big one, the casting is quite interesting, right? So, like for instance, um, the uh, well, the Batman is played by Robert Pattinson. I see, I can read it from my, from my, my thing here. Uh, Robert Pattinson plays the Batman, which I think he did a, a really good job. Just a second, I gotta turn this music down. Oh, just a second, hold on. Uh, that's my. That used to be my theme music. Used to be, I guess it still is. Oh, come on, move, 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 move back, move back, move back. Ah, uh, okay. My um, for no more radio. No people in sorrows. Name of cut on the summer she hasn't. Once I turn that off. Um, so Robert Pattinson plays the uh, the Batman. Uh, Bruce Wayne, but I think this is like a, a prequel, you know, like, you know, before Batman is fully Batman, you know, it was like the first couple of years of being Batman, and uh, so I love, uh, they have great costume choices, really, really good, and it's interesting because the first thing I noticed about the Batman is that the, the film 
it's filmed usually at night, you know, there's a lot of rain, it's dark or whatever have you. And uh, so the first thing I, I I thought in my mind, because when when um, a Black, Black Panther, I got this right here, when Black Panther came out, well, this is just a cute tribute to him, to Chadwick, uh, peace and blessings on his eternal soul. But when it, when it, when it, when it, when it first came out, one of the things is because it went nation, nationwide, I mean, nation worldwide, is the Chinese, they had this whole thing was that they said it was too black. And they meant that it, the, the stream was too dark, you couldn't, you know, like that. I'm going like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> I'll leave that alone. But the first thing I thought, I made the comparison to, not the comparison, but I'm saying like, oh, this black man is dark, you know what I mean? I wonder if the, I wonder if the Chinese are going to say, it's too dark. <laughs> I don't know if they're going to say that it's too black. I don't know if they're going to say that. But what I was thinking of, if I compare Black Panther, the character, and the Batman, it's interesting because um, if you look at um, Black Panther is really, I won't say a stoke, but he, he's got action, whatever have you, but he's like the central character, but he's sort of like, and Batman, the same thing, he's sort of bouncing off everybody like that. So it's quite, so he has to play, he has to downplay, it can't be too much, you know? Because everybody else is like swirling around. Like, um, oh, Catwoman, Zoe Kravitz. I really liked her. I really, really liked her. And her action stuff like that. You know how these uh, uh, stars that get older, like 45, 50, whatever it is, and they're trying to be action stars. <laughs> well, you could tell she's she's going to be good. You know what I mean? Well, forget all your people that's trying to be good, all you, you know, because you can be replaced. <laughs> You know, I remember like like uh, Holly Barry and, and, and John Wick, wherever she thinks she's going to be, whatever have you. Baby, you're getting old. I don't know if you're going to be able to do this. But if you can, I'm not I'm not hating, whatever have you. But Zoe, you can tell she can really. It's like, to me, every every film role, you know, uh, it's, there's nothing about an audition for the next role, you know. So I'm sure she's going she's gonna to get a lot of offers to do some really action-orientated kind of thing, you know, assassin kind of thing, right? Anyway. So she's real good, and I really like. I like Brad Patterson. I mean, you know, like I said, for the but he did, I'm fine with it. You know. Um, then you had this um, the 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 main uh, uh, what do you call it? antagonist? Uh, I guess you call the main antagonist it would be the guy that played. Um, it's called Paul. Don, I can't read from all over here. Let me keep my other glasses so I can read this stuff. I can't read. I can't see it all the way over there because I got my screen all the way over there. What am I think? Can I read there? Can't read that either. <laughs> it don't work. Let me leave this. I'll just go pull it down. And, oh yeah, he played uh, Riddler, and uh, and Riddler's kind of you know, man. When you first see it, because he's just in you know he's in the shadows and thought and really creepy, scary. Ooh, so he was really really good. Um, the, um, then you have um uh, the chief the not chief, yeah well you know um. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Wright, you know, great actor, you know, um, I know him back in New York when he was, you know, when, it, what was that, what was the play we first did when George C. Wolf brought him in because somebody else, oh man, what's the name of that piece? Doesn't matter. It's, it's a New York play, long, long in the nineties and whatever have you, but he's a great, great actor. And then they, he had him in coming in America, coming to, now, ain't it, the, the age play, all that stuff. So he's a great actor. He's been around, acted a long time. He's stage trained. So that's really good. But, uh, you know, he played, uh, you know, um, uh, Gordon, you know, the chief of police kind. Well, he wasn't chief of police then, but uh, James Gordon, the, 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 the police guy, right? Really, really good. In fact, this is nice. To, there's, there's two really pairings. There's the there's the Batman and, uh, I guess, Catwoman, or the Selena, the, 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 the Zoe Kravitz thing. They have a relationship. And then um, then Patterson has a relationship with, with, uh, with, with well, Patterson or Batman has a relationship with with Gordon, right? So they they they're really interesting. Both of them are really like that. So you you notice the racial thing already, right? I'm just saying, right? Uh, and then you have Colin Farrell, man. Whoa, look, yo, out of all everybody did everything. Colin Farrell, man, he played Penguin. He was so good. I mean, get talk about getting lost in the part. I ain't know. I don't know who this boy was. This I, who is he? Really good. <laughs> I mean, I knew they was. I knew he was in the movie, you know. But even just the way they did it, you know, because he had that that the nose is not like over the top like Danny DeVito kind of thing. But because you know it's not a costume drama, but he was so good. I mean, you know. And then there's one. There's a lot of little jokes in there. There's one part. I'm gonna just be spoiled. I'll spoil it for you. Where where uh, where where the Batman and and uh, James Gordon. 
they they got the the you know Gordon character. They they got uh they they questioning Penguin. You know and he's going what are you what are you? and they got him they like they got a, they they have him hand not hand I guess it's handcuffs. Yeah, they also handcuff his his ankles. You know how they do like black boys, whatever. They handcuff your ankles because you're too skinny. You know, Rich Pride tell that joke. So, don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, so at the end when they're leaving, they just ooh they got to run, and so he's he's got to. He's got to say, hey, what about me? What a, hey, well, y'all forget me, fellas. And they, they're gone, right? And so he's sort of walking, but he's walking like the penguin. It's the first time you can see. In other words, the, he, the way he has to walk is like penguin. It's a brilliant kind of thing. It hats off to the to the director with Matt Reeves. Hey, man, I like that, okay? Uh, so that's the actors. Let me just leave everybody else alone. Oh, sorry, there's one more thing, I guess. There's the, um, the, uh, uh, Andy Circus, the guy that played the, the monkeys all the time, you know, you know what I'm saying? And he was in. He was also in Black Panther, right? Oh. I don't like what they did with him. Alfred's always a character that to me is good. I mean, he had a good function, but he was hardly on screen. And to me, I, he wasn't really. I, I, I don't know. I just didn't like what they did. I, I just just if you go to if you go to the movies to see a, a good Alfred, don't <laughs> just leave it alone. You know. Uh, so those are the main characters. There's there's other main characters like oh Totoro guy man, man he played a he was really really good too. You know the tour you know it was in the all the Spike Lee movies and stuff like that. Uh, you you know him. Um, oh, 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 now nah, when I was working for um, Sopranos, you know his sister uh, was on the Sopranos. You know what I mean? So he never came by the set. So anyway, Totoro's you know the acting family. If you want to say that, okay. So those are the characters whatever it is. Okay. And plus, there's just a lot of the the they they got the the black man. They've got like like a lot of uh, 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 um, um, fair casting. Let's put it that way. At least in, in the major roles. And then of course, you know, you have other stuff happening. And and I like that. Um, and it's it's really totally a modern tale. That I mean, everything is I don't want to say correct, but you know, there it's like uh, um women you know you get the women get empowered. Where oh by the way, the only thing I really this this I like scripts you know what i mean I, I pay attention to the writing whatever and there's a relationship uh, where with catwoman gets involved because this uh like uh, maybe she's you they say ukrainian well, well an eastern you know european kind of character i don't think she, she, she's supposed to be russian or ukrainian something like that and uh but i just understand so catwoman's really motivation to help this woman but i guess you know it's a female bonding and whatever have you uh but it was it was uh, that was her motivation for for doing some some sort of stuff and I want to, I want to, I don't want to spoil it just in case because there's there's another relationship that Catwoman has in the film which is right surprising actually I wasn't looking at that but it's like oh that's interesting that's good good writing I like that um, but I don't think the relationship is enough to um, propel her to to do what she did but I guess it's all right she says uh, you know uh, when when uh, when the Batman asked her about, you know, all these casts that she had, she said, well, I have a thing for strays. Good line, good joke, right? Meaning that he's a stray too. That was really good. In fact, there's a, the only love, there's not a, there's no sex in there like that, but they get a couple of kissing scenes there. And each time I said, you know, he should kiss her. And sure enough, he did. And then the second time they kiss, and then the third time they didn't kiss. Right? What the hey, you know? Um, but they have a good chemistry. I like them together, you know? So I also, Zoe, hey, good work, girl. Um, so, um, so the, so that's, so that's, that's what that is, right? Um, the, the vision of Gotham, right, is like really, and they've got all kinds of slogans, you know, that, that current kind of, kind of things. I, I like the vision of Gotham. The story, uh, I don't know, the story's all right like that, but I like the, I like the way they put everything together and the big catastrophe scenes. The only thing, the only thing I would say that, uh, this guy, Mark Reeves did, uh, well, let's say Mark, whatever, Reeves, the, uh, the director, Matt Reeves, the director. Um, uh, sometimes I, I think there's a there's a, 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 a what do you call it? A scene where it's a what do you call it? They're a, 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 a car chase, car car thing. That thing was a little bit long to me. This something that's a little bit long. But then I realized this is the same guy that directed the. Um, there was a, a Planet of the Apes right after the. The, the the James Falco one there was he directed the the other two I particularly liked them but I knew there was some drawn out scenes so sometimes he like lags but this one even though even though it's a three hour film 
you know, to me, it, it, it was fine. Fine, but I like I like films. I mean, you know, I remember I saw the I saw the six was it six hours, six and a half hours, something like that version of, of War and Peace, the Russian version. Right, I saw that one night, uh, one one time. It was in my long day, I saw like a lot of films in the twenty four hour period. I was going this back in New York when they had the revival houses. Anyway, in Russian, this whole thing. So I I, I can sit six hours. I don't care. I I can sit through a movie. I don't care. Right. So. Uh, so 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 he has this thing tennis for some sometimes I think he he needs a better edit not a better but an editor that can cut it down a little bit but I I don't care you know what I mean I think for everybody else they they sort of need that uh so so anyway so all in all I would say that not like but I really appreciate what they did with this bat the Batman and um I and I did like it like you know but um I'm it's it's sort of complicated you know what I mean. But I look at it as a, a, these characters all deserve all deserve spinoffs, right? So I suppose the way they set it up, it's like all these characters can be spin spun off because even the Riddler he gets into the Arkham, you know, the insane asylum where where it brings out that remember the Batman's mama <laughs> was insane too, which makes the Batman think about it. The Batman is insane. <laughs> he is. I mean, when you look at the character, I'm really not into the Batman lore or whatever. I'm not really into comics. And when I was growing up, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I, I knew the Spider-Man. I, I really liked Daredevil the best, but that's never when I was born. I was always a teenager by then. But, you know, I'm a Marvel kind of kind of guy anyway. So, yeah, but I, 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 I would say, you know, the Batman, just, he, he bat crazy. He, <laughs> he bat stuff crazy, you know? Which is what I like about him, you know. And when it, uh, the only thing that's strange is that you know there's a lot of bullets flying, a lot of people, doing it, but he never gets hit, you know, in his face. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, if I had a shotgun, I'd say, hey, face headshot, boom. But that never happens. It's a movie. Sometimes you got to suspend. The like movie going along, you have to suspend some sort of disbelief if you really want to appreciate the movie. That's what people have to understand when you watch a film. I mean, if if it's logical enough for the first, you know, uh, third. And then you get to about after the first third, you you either you're sold into the film, you buy all the all the incongruities, hey the brother said a big word, or you know or you, uh, or you complain, you know. But if you start complaining, then that'll carry through the rest of the film and you mess it up for you. So you really have to, you know, to, uh, appreciate. They set it up. If you go for it, then you're cool. If you don't, you don't. That's the way. That's just the way it goes. Okay, okay. Uh, what else did I say about it? Um, I um, when I see a film, I see it to the end because I think that everybody worked on a film, including the composer, whatever they deserve. When when the end credits going and the composer, the music is going, I stay there and listen. I'm listening to the music. I'm, I'm watching the stuff up to Union, but I'm also listening to the move to the, you know, to the music, right? And during the film, I'm so immersed in the film. I don't necessarily notice the 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 the, the, the score unless something happens. But I I always I push the score in the background. I always do, you know. But I appreciate it. the score for this. I think was, was was good. But then again, a lot of scores that come out now, they've been studying these guys, so they're really good. Just like a lot of scripts coming out now, uh, the scripts are, are much 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 better at handling stuff. So that's that, that that's really good. Oh, by by the way, there is a thing at the end. Usually, I, I wait to the union bud. Okay, union bud came up. So okay, I'm done. You know, because it's just the end of the film, and they start to close the thing. But the Warner Brothers, you know, thing came up like that, and then at the end of that. You know, the movie's supposed to end with the union, but there was stay stay until the very, very end. After the union, but when the little war because there's something that goes at, at the end and I won't tell you what it is. You gotta stay to the film and see the whole thing. Okay. So that's it. Um uh, and like I said, also uh the Joker makes it or, or Joker makes an appearance and then not, not no way at, at you you'll figure it out. You'll see. Like that. So that's it sets up a lot of a lot of things. So that's it. That's my little uh, thing uh, I appreciate the film. It's complicated for me, um, but I appreciate the fact that that is in twenty twenty two. They're doing a lot of casting correctly. They're doing a a, a lot of um, a racial kind of yeah, a multi woke whatever casting, and I appreciate that. I don't care what other people think. You know. So that's it. Um, I'll check. Uh, I'll check you all later. Oh, I do have one thing else to say. I mentioned Reacher. Um, which is a throwback because the first book was done in the uh, um, two thousand or something like that, but that was right after the whole, uh, the whole seventies eighties where you had you know when when uh, uh, when you had to show a character is tough 
The first thing they did was beat up a black person, right? That's what happened in the Reacher series. I know I'm doing off, but I have to say this, yeah. And so things are uh, things are changing. Uh, because you know, longer well, and usually the black person didn't last for the first reel or something like that. But in this thing, in the in the Batman, hey, Zoe and and the and the and go and Gordon, well, you know, uh, and uh, whether uh, Selena, uh, Catwoman, and uh, and, uh, and 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 Gordon, the, the cop, they're black. They last. Yay. <laughs> Okay, that's enough for me. <laughs> Just let you look. This is T from the Patterson's taking the train to bed, letting you know what I only suspect about the Batman.